God, that sucks. That sucks a lot. That's bad. Oh, well. Toss these grenades out, see if we can't get another max ammo drop, maybe. Oh, let's go. Let's see it. Come on. Nope. Die, bitch. Come on. Hit him. Kill him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Here we go. Now we're getting into it. Now we're getting to where the zombies are getting a little bit quicker. Get the real training going. Oh, yeah. Whoop. Whoop. See, one thing that I just don't understand is, like, I'll stop playing zombies for, like, a couple of days. And then I'll come back. And I'll be like, alright, I'm gonna get, gonna get some more videos made. And it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, Seth, you suck at zombies now. And I'm like, really? Like, why we gotta be like that game? Why we gotta be like that? And I don't know... I don't know if it's just me who has that issue. But... It seems like any time where I take a day off of playing zombies, or two days off playing zombies... Like, all the skill that I've gained is just gone. And I am out of bullets, aren't I? Yep, I am. You know what that means. Buy more bullets. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, all. Come on. I think the biggest pain in the ass on this challenge is the fact that I can't get Speed Cola. Like, obviously, all I'd have to do to get Speed Cola is buy this right here, but... When you buy that door, it kind of fucks up this whole training spot right here. And that makes it kind of difficult to train the way that I like to train on this map. But I'm probably going to end up varying it up a little bit anyway. Because who wants to watch the same training spot over and over and over again, right? Nobody wants to see that, so let's switch it up a little bit here. This is a really good uh, map to get better at training on, too. Like, I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but training on this map, like, you can literally train just about anywhere you want to. And it makes for, for, for helping you get a lot better. Um, as far as the fire goes, like, some people think that having to avoid the fire makes you a better trainer. I'm not so sure about that. Like, I'm not so sure that I agree with that. Whoa. Didn't expect them to come back around that car like that. Uh, but I don't, I'm not, I'm not so sure that that is 100% true. Because really, all you're doing is avoiding cracks. And I guess that that can make you a better player. But overall, I don't think it really does help that much. Wow. Wow. Okay, then. Well, okay, so since that's gonna happen, I don't I don't even understand how that one happened, because I only got hit what looked to be twice, and then it was just like, oh yeah, by the way, get wrecked, bitch. And it's like, ah, thanks, game. I appreciate it. First down, round 10. Man, I was hoping I could pack a punch by, like, round 12. I don't know if that's gonna happen now. Because now I need to go get double tap. Because this M14 is not cutting it. And I probably need to get stamina up too. That was probably a big mistake. Was not getting stamina up earlier. Because I do kind of like stamina up a lot. Is like one of those heavier perks that I like lean on. And I don't mean heavier perks. Like that perk that I lean on a little bit heavier is. Speed Cola and stamina up. Are like my two go-to luxury perks. Because you don't have to have them to play. But they do make it so much better. Because who wants to spend forever reloading, right? Like who wants to do that? Nobody wants to do that. And then for stamina up, you know, you're able to sprint for a ridiculously long amount of time. And that makes it awesome to traverse the, the like the larger maps. Like, you don't need it. You don't need it on this map. Like almost at all. Although it does make it easier to train any on any map, it makes it easier to train. Let's go ahead and pack a punch. Okay. We're just gonna, you know, forget to press X next to the pack a punch machine. Look at that. Alright, there we go. 16 rounds. Should make a dent. The amnesia's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, overall. Yeah, look at that. Is that a two shot? That's a two shot. I mean, cause I also have double tap, so I can't give it 
too much praise, but two shot for any gun after round 10 is pretty impressive. Oh, now it gives me a max ammo. Well, now I don't want it. Eh, I'll take it. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I'll take a max. Always take a max. Oh, ho, ho, my goodness, golly gracious me. Oh, fucking balls. Oh, fucking balls. There we go. But no, I actually saw a guy today comments on one of my videos. And I love this individual so much. Because of one reason. And that reason is, his picture is of a game that I played for about nine and a half years. And that game was RuneScape. I know I just lost like 1,000, like 100 billion thousand cool points because I just admitted that, but I played that game for fucking ever. And as soon as that EOC update hit, like for any of you guys that used to play RuneScape, or still do play RuneScape, as soon as that EOC update hit, that game just went to crap so fast. Because it just, it wasn't RuneScape anymore. Like, let's be honest. Let's be honest here. Jordy, you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about. But that was a really fun MMORPG. One of the best that I've ever played. Like, I've tried getting into, like, different ones. Like, playing WoW. Stuff like that. But for the most part, I just can't get into it. Mostly all I play anymore is zombies. Because I really don't have time to play anything else. Because once you, uh, once you throw 40 hours of work... In, plus balancing, you know, time with the girlfriend, time with the family, etc., etc., etc. You kind of end up with no time whatsoever to do anything that you want to do, and that wrecked. Like, wow. That fucking wrecked him. Where's the last one at? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Boom, look at that. Round 12. Eh, not bad. Not bad. We're making it. We're making it. Slowly but surely. What round are we going to make it to today? What round are we going to make it to? I think... I think for this challenge... That maybe... And I may be... I may be stretching it a bit. But I think round 30 would be a pretty decent... Um, uh, pretty decent attempt would be round 30. Like, for most of my challenges, at least the past few ones that I've done, I go down so super early. Like, so super early in the rounds. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I've played zombies for so long, I should be able to do better than that. And then it's like, nah, you're gonna go down round 10. It's like, aw, it's no fun. Ah, I want some points. Uh, is that an max? I don't need that. The fuck, game? I don't need an max. Oh. Watch me not pick this one up, and it's just going to be like, ooh, we'll take that. I'm not going to pick it up, and it's just going to be like, oh yeah, fuck you, by the way. We're not going to give you one for another 15 rounds. And it's like, aw, oh, why you got to be that way, game? Why you got to be that way? I am super freaking hyped for Black Ops 3 Zombies, though. Because everybody keeps saying that it's been confirmed. I'm doing air quotations right now been confirmed but everybody keeps saying it's been confirmed that there is no advanced movement and i'm not so sure if that's 100 percent true if it is then that's fucking badass and awesome like i know that uh i know that uh the guy behind uh the zombies the forget his name at the moment but he did a did an interview and he was talking about it and he's like oh yeah you know we're gonna do zombies and it's gonna be better than ever and he said, he said it in this, this like, like really like creepy kind of way, right? Like he said it with like this really sly smile. He was like, it's going to be Treyarch zombies. And he said, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. And that is like the most non-descriptive thing to say. Because what am I supposed to take from that? Like the only thing that I can think of that he meant was that it's going to be like this kind of zombies. You know, being able to train them around... Get your kills and get through the rounds without that, you know, stupid exo zombies bullshit. You know, that's just something that really irritated me with Sledgehammer. I get that they're kind of new to the whole Call of Duty franchise. That's cool. But you do not fuck with zombies. That's just one thing that is unacceptable. 
Especially since just about everybody in the zombies community doesn't like exo zombies and for good reason because in my opinion it sucks if you like it then uh, good for you play it do whichever you want with it but i do not like playing it the new dlc eh, it does it does it look cool yes but everything new looks cool for the most part when you first see it like whenever we first saw the exo suits advance for um you know get announced for uh, advanced warfare and we saw the gameplay from it they looked pretty cool. That was that was close. I should have went down there. I went down earlier for something stupid like that, and I didn't go down there. Thanks, Treyarch. But uh, no, the uh, like the suits look cool at first, right? And then they play cool for a little bit, and then it's just like eh, the novelty's worn off. They're no longer new. They're no longer fun. No longer exciting, and it loses that novelty and that. Uh, you know, cool factor very quickly. It's the same thing that happened with uh, Destiny. You know, as soon as that cool factor wears off, the game just dies for the most part. And don't get me wrong, Destiny is a fantastic game. But, once the cool factor is gone, the cool factor is gone. To get that back takes quite a bit of effort. And I think that's something that Sledgehammer is kind of struggling with. Do I want that max? Yeah, I'll take that max. Why not? Why not? Yeah, hopefully my computer doesn't decide to crash and erase all my footage again. Because last time I was at like round 24, about an hour into the footage, and that's when it decided to crash. And I'm actually like, that's the reason that I'm like playing weird right now is I'm like looking off at my computer that's sitting on my desk. And like trying to train at the same time. That's really stupid and really risky, but... I'm looking at it right now, it says 24 minutes and 7 seconds, so obviously this is going to be much, much, we're doing a much better job, time management wise. Also, I think it's because I upgraded a lot sooner this time than I did last time. Last time I upgraded it, like, I upgraded it round 15, I did it, I did it all with standard guns until round 15. That was risky as fuck. Whoa, okay, I'm playing stupid, I gotta, I gotta play smart. Can't tell if my phone just buzzed again, but if it did, I apologize. Like, I'm seriously looking at it. It's sitting off to my right, and there's, like, 15 fucking text messages coming in. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? Because during the day, nobody wants to text me. Nobody's like, hey, Seth, you know, let's let's talk. Let's, let's, let's hang out. Let's do something. Nah. Nah, it's only when I'm making videos, and it's the most irritating fucking thing in the world. I swear to God, I'm just gonna turn my fucking phone off. I'm done with that. Ooh. Get wrecked, son.